Thank you for joining me today for a quick walkthrough of Coding Rooms. Coding Rooms was created to help educators enhance their teaching and learning experiences, particularly in computer programming courses. This includes content creation, content delivery, and available quality pre-built content. We've built our product based on feedback from business, coding bootcamp, K-12, and higher education clients. We hope you enjoy it. So here we are on the Coding Rooms dashboard. Creating a new course is as simple as clicking the blue plus new course button in the top right hand corner of your screen. Choose whether you want to create an empty course and use all your own content or start with a template and remix our pre-built content with your own content. For demo purposes, I'm gonna start with a template. You can rename the template whatever you want. Choose whether you want to publish all content from the beginning or publish each module as you go, and then create your course. So this is my course. Over here on the left-hand side, you'll notice the course navigation bar. I can navigate to various administrative sections, as well as all of my content sections and lessons from here. So one of the first things you'll likely want to do is add additional course administrators and learners. To do this, you'll go to the people view and then click admins TAs, add admins TAs to add additional um, teachers to your class. Type in their email and click invite. To add additional learners to your class, You'll go to learners and click copy join link and you can send that link to your learners to join your course as learners. So once you have people in your course, you'll likely want to create or customize the course content. So click on the module that you want to start customizing and you can click into the content anywhere that you want. and easily delete text, add text, format text, move content around, and this is where the real magic happens, add interactive blocks. The interactive blocks include things like multiple choice questions, multiple select, short answer, drag and drop, fill in the blank, Parsons problems, code select, checklists, file downloads, file uploads, embeds, tab layout, hide reveal buttons, and of course, our professional grade coding rooms IDE. Keep in mind that all of our content creation is collaborative and in real time. This means that multiple course admins can be in here working on the content together and they can see what each other are doing, where they are, and collaborate in real time. Also, all changes are automatically saved so no one's updates get lost. Now you also have the ability to assign or publish content to all learners or to various groups of learners. And you can even make a particular interactive lesson be a group assignment. In a group assignment, all learners in the same group get the same page to collaborate on together. And just like for instructors on the content creation side, learners see each other in real time on group assignments. Our IDE is a professional grade IDE and it's built ready for auto grading submissions. So you can add your template, your test bench, and a model solution. We also support Visual Studio Code, Jupyter Notebooks, BlueJay, and more. 
Our Coding Rooms IDE is easy enough to use that students can just click run and run their code, but it's powerful enough that you can do the most advanced projects. That's because we run students code on a full Linux virtual machine, where students can also see the desktop of that virtual machine to check out graphics, GUIs, and other sorts of things. That's one of the powers of coding rooms. Although we're online and students can code on any device, Chromebook, iPad, tablet, their phone, they still have the full power of a full desktop machine. Now, there are a few different ways you can monitor learner progress and understanding. First, you can use the lightning grader to get a visual of how your students are doing on a particular lesson page. In the lightning grader view, I can see all of my students here on the right. Each learner has this progress bar with little dashes for each interactive block on the page. So larger dashes are interactive blocks that are worth more points and smaller dashes are interactive blocks that are worth less points. And as learners complete the work, the colors of the dashes will change. So yellow is in progress or needs instructor grading, red is incorrect and green is correct. And if I click on this student, I can review her work, change her points earned, give her feedback and go to the next student or return her work to her for a revision. After I've reviewed a student's work, I see the green check mark here next to that student's name, so I can keep up with where I am in reviewing students' work. The second way that you can monitor student progress is through the grid view. I can use the grid view to see all of my learners working on a particular interactive block at the same time. For example, if I'm running a live class and I'm having all of my students work on this IDE interactive block, I can monitor their work in real time from the grid view. And again, I can jump into any learner's IDE and comment, adjust their code, and even run their code for them. And my learners will see all of my feedback in real time as I provide it. So the third way to track student progress and understanding is live presentation mode. I can use presentation mode to present to the class in real time. I can choose whether I want to present to the entire class, a group of learners, a section of learners, or an individual learner. I can also choose whether I want to turn on video conferencing or not. We do have video conferencing built directly within the platform in Coding Rooms. And I can choose whether I want to force my students to follow the presentation. So with this on, learners will be redirected to the lesson that I'm presenting. Now you can see the presentation on the left and I can select a student's work to see their work on the right. So you have the split screen and students have the split screen too. So they'll see what I'm presenting as the instructor on the left and they can be working on their work on the right side by side. Again, the instructor and learner see each other in real time. So the instructor can comment on the learner's code in real time, run the code, edit the code, etc.
This is great for those synchronous class meetings or even for something like office hours. Um, it's just easier for students to see what you're doing on the presentation view rather than having to like look up at a screen or if it's an online um, course, look at your screen sharing and then try to pull up their work separately. Um, it just makes it really convenient and easy for learners to keep track of what's going on and for you to, as the instructor, to see what learners are doing. The fourth way that you can see how students are doing is the gradebook. If I wanna take a look at a more macro view of the class and see where all of my learners stand across all lessons, I can look at the grade section and see the full gradebook view. This is more of a traditional gradebook view with learners in rows and assignments in columns and student scores at the intersections. You can change student scores here and um, click to view their submissions. And if you've provided any feedback, you can see that here as, too, as well too. You can also download this information into a CSV or JSON file. So if you need to share learner progress with one of your clients, administrators, et cetera, you can easily export the grades and share with them or export and import into an LMS. If you're using a separate LMS and not integrating coding rooms into it, um, you can do this to get student grades over into the LMS. So that's a quick overview of the content creation and content delivery capabilities and the pre-built content available within coding rooms. We're constantly working on improvements and expansions so up next, we're adding analytics and automation capabilities. So keep an eye out for that and let us know if you have any feature requests. Thanks for watching.